Earlier we have worked with the device location to get the weather data. Now let's say if we'll change the device location and if the app is open or in the background and press this your location, then we need to get the weather data according to our latest location. Okay, so in the weather page XAML file, let's go to this frame that contains this label for your location. Here we're going to add the gesture recognizer and right after that, we'll create a tab gesture, name it tab location. And then we'll create a tabbed event. We can't create the clicked event other than button and image button. That's why we have created the tabbed event. Now let's go to the weather page code behind file. And inside this tabbed event, we need to write the code to get the weather data by location. We have to use the same code which we have written in the own appearing method. So in order to remove the duplication, we'll reuse the same code. First, we'll add an ASIC method of type task. And name it get weather data by location. And this method will take two parameters of type double, latitude and longitude. Okay, now let's cut this API code from the own appearing method and paste this code inside this method. Now in the tapped event, we'll call the get location method because when the user will first time run the application, then we'll call the get location in the own appearing method. But if the application is opened and now the location is changed, then we'll again call the get location method in this tapped event. And right after that, we'll call this get weather data by location and pass the latitude and longitude. Don't forget to add the await and async. I hope you have got this concept. There is nothing new here, we have just reused the code with the help of methods. Now let's run this application. And we'll get the location according to our device. Now let's change the device location. And if we'll press this your location option, then this time, we'll get the weather data according to our new location. Similarly, let's try it one more time. Alright, here we go. So that's all from this lesson. Now I'll see you in the next one.